Now I'm here we are in Julie's acreage. She has about five acres here and it's all been done by work by her. This is a pool that's fed by springs and so they had to build a dam to hold it in. Notice the island in the middle. It had to be shored up with the timbers but there's a little walkway out to the island. And here in the garden I think I counted eight butterflies and many, many flowers. Coneflower, Queen Anne's lace, daylilies, sedum, iris, which aren't blooming now. Now we're walking ahead to the little sanctuary area. And oh, here's Julie sitting here right now. Hi, everybody. Cheers. Julie, how long did you live here? I've been here almost 49 years. 49 but, years? But on this acreage, uh, 10 years. It just turned out to be a wonderful private spot. And the address is God's... Country Lane. G God's Country Lane. Yep, and this is my paradise. This is my little church, too. I come down here and there's no kids screaming, no papers rattling, and I can get the best prayers said and most of them get answered because you're here. Am I lucky? <laughs> <laughs> now we're going to walk a little farther. I started watching birds today, but instead I started looking at garden ornaments. <laughs> Every place that the eye hits, Julie has a garden ornament or a bird bath or a, what's that called, the trellis, a garden arch. My son made those. Her son helped on a lot of this. Oh, here's Tansy. I forgot to mention Tansy. We're missing Julie's pet deer, Blossom. This is the wrong time of day for Blossom. We'd have to come at 5.30 a.m. to see Blossom. She eats out of Julie's hand. Now we're approaching the house. The house is built into a hill. is like a door into a hill. You might spot the television antenna on the top. Passing the hollyhocks. Passing more garden. Oh, and many of the trees were planted here. I can't remember the number of trees that Julie planted. Plus, cleared out many honey locusts, those thorny honey locusts. When we first arrived, we wouldn't have even guessed where the door to this house was. But right now we're approaching the door. On the roof are about three feet of sod, keeping the house insulated. There's no furnace. A fireplace heats the house. The seashells. On the ground. Now these seashells might look out of place. I think Julie brought them home from San, San Padre Island where she vacations in the winter. Many many suitcases full of seashells. Back to the front of the house now. We enter into a lovely porch area. And this is such a, a welcoming field, but we're really walking under the hill. And I think we'll just stop right here for now while we test this part.